Welcome to Two Doctors Homestead. My name is Daniel, and today I want to talk a little bit about emergency preparedness or just being prepared. Um, I actually have a friend I work with that reached out last week and said that they had a big storm and lost power, and he was surprised in a, in a power out situation and how unprepared he was for that situation. One of the things we talked about, and I actually get questions about a lot, is a weather radio. Um, how do you know if the storm's going to hit, especially if you lose power in the middle of a storm? Um, and something I always recommend is a good weather radio. Now, this weather radio is actually very simple. It's very small and compact, um, and it really wasn't very expensive. Um, I got it at Walmart probably five years ago. Um, I think the price has gone up a little bit. I paid about 20 bucks at the time. I've seen them more in the, the $40 range. Uh, this is a Midland, you know, AA hand crank. Uh, weather radio, right? So it's got some very basic controls in the front. Um, you've got your power on band, volume tune, um, and there's a couple different weather channels or you can pick up your, your AM, FM if you want. So a few things I really like about this weather radio is it has a hand crank on the back. So if you need to, if the battery is dead, you've got some time, you can hand crank it and get some power. Right, so if it's running a long time, if your battery's dead, also has a solar charger on the top. So once again, if you're in a situation where you pull your weather radio out, but the battery's dead, um, you know, in the middle of a storm, you might not have solar, but you can leave it on the window still during the day to charge up. Um, but also, as I said, you can sit there and hand crank it. Something else I really like about the Midland, and this is the ER210, which your connectors on the side here. So once you have a battery in here, you can actually you can charge it through USB or you could plug in your phone and you could charge your phone off your weather radio, right? So it's very multi-purpose and it has a flashlight built into it. So if you have a storm coming in, if you're wondering what's going on with the weather, power is out or not, you don't want to turn on the weather channel, um, you just bust out your weather radio. I so said we've had this for about five years, been through a lot of storms and this is my go-to and it's, it's small, it's compact. Um, if you're going camping, you carry it in a backpack, you could maybe even clip it outside of your backpack and solar charge your batteries a little bit during the day, hand crank them at night, if the batteries are dead, so then you've got, you've got a little flashlight built. Now something that goes along nicely with the weather radio, this is a, a Peak Plus rechargeable tactical flashlight LFX 1000, right? This is a high lumens flashlight, it doesn't say the exact lumens. Um, it's got a few different light modes, so you have things like uh, SOS mode or different blinker modes. So the reason I'm talking about the flashlight as part of the weather radio is it uses the same battery as the weather radio, which is right here. It's a 2200 amp hour, 3.7 volt battery. So you get the battery from the weather radio, the battery from the flashlight. So if you have the two of them together, you could actually use your radio, once again, the solar or the hand crank, to charge the flashlight for your battery. I know this has a battery built in, but this is a much more powerful battery. Uh, my backyard, I can shine this two, 300 feet and see what's out there. So if you have them both together, you've got two batteries, use the same batteries, multiple ways to charge it. And it's going to you charge your phone off of this. So if your radio is dead and you need that, you could take the battery out of your flashlight, put it in the radio. If your flashlight's dead and you need that, you know, you don't want to use the little flashlight. You could switch the batteries out. So you get a lot of flexibility, charging options, charge your cell phone, switch the batteries out. And of course the, the flashlight comes with an additional charger. So now you have multiple ways to charge your batteries. They're interchangeable and you can, you can move between the two. Okay. Right, so I know this is a, so it's a super short video, but it's just a question I see a lot. And even, even my friend that was like, Hey man, I wasn't ready. Even just something like this, you know, can go a lot. If you don't have it to be prepared for power outages, for blackouts, for, uh, big storms, you know, I live in tornado country. So when you see a big storm or you hear a big storm going, you want to turn on that weather radio and make sure you don't have a tornado coming your way. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please like and subscribe and let, let us know if there's anything else you'd like to see.